Hi friends, uh, welcome to our medical podcast. So today's episode is a very special one as I am inviting uh, one of the super specialists in uh, the department of urology. He is Dr. Uh, Barun Kumar. He is working as the uh, consultant urologist in the department of urology, uh, Ayurveda Super Speciality Hospital. So in this episode, we will be uh, discussing about benign enlargement of prostate or uh, the enlargement of the prostate gland. So uh, my first question is, uh, so what is, uh, uh, what is prostate and where it is located and actually what are its functions? Okay. Namaskar. Uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity in this podcast. So benign hypertrophy of prostate uh, is anatomically refers to just the enlargement of prostate gland. Prostate gland is uh, exclusively uh, with males. It is located uh, around the prostatic urethra, just below the bladder neck. Uh, anatomically, it has different zones. The zone which is surrounding the urethra is called the transitional zone, enlargement of which causes the anatomical obstruction of the urethra. Uh, the symptoms, voiding symptoms has now evolved and now we uh, reserve benign hypertrophy of prostate to just the, to its anatomical meaning. The term which we use for the urinary complaint is called voiding lower voiding or storage, lower urinary tract symptoms or LUTS. It entails the symptoms and not the cause. The cause can be due to many reasons, uh, includes neurogenic, uh, stone related or uh, benign hypertrophy or prostate as well. Okay. So, my question is, I'm going to যে আমার প্রস্তেত যেটু গ্রন্থি এই গ্রন্থিটো আমার পেসাবোর মোনাখনোর তলত ইউরিনারি ব্লাডার যাক কয় তার তলত থাকে আরও এই টুর দাঙ্গর হওয়া বা বাহির যোগে আমি বিনাইন এনলার্জমেন্ট অফ প্রস্তেত গুলি কো so now uh, the uh, next question is that uh, so we have seen uh, we have already heard that benign enlargement of prostate is mainly related to uh, old age or aged population so is it possible that benign enlargement of prostate or prostate enlargement can occur early in early age or can it be possible that it can be related to any other problems okay so benign enlargement does not occur uh, below 45. So we don't see uh, patients less than 45 years of age with benign enlargement. It's, uh, the term is generally exclusively reserved for people with old age. Uh, it's an age-related change. However, young patients can suffer with prostate-related problems. Uh, some of these are we can be related prostatitis that is a chronic inflammation of prostate gland it can be due to either infection or a non-infective related uh, etiology as well there are some other problems with prostate gland seen in young patients uh, can it can be a prostatic urethral cyst which can cause to uh, bilateral obstruction of ejaculatory ducts leads to obstructive adospermia and infertility as well and some patients might have uh, uh, the prostatic abscesses, which uh, are sequelae of prostate prostatitis, can, which can uh, lead to um, either voiding and storage symptoms, and uh, uh, can uh, uh, present in a septic uh, way also. Present presenting with cutaneous uh, retention and uh, dysuria, UTI with high grade fever. Okay, so my doctor kolok akhmiyat koi disu je. আমি যেতিয়া বিনাইন এনলার্জমেন্ট অফ প্রস্তেত বুলি কও এটু জেনারেলি 45 বছর বা তার উপর বয়স হতে দেখা যায় কিন্তু কম বয়স হতো কিছুমান প্রবলেমৰ কারণে প্রস্তেত ডাঙৰ হ'ব পাৰে যেনে প্রস্তেতত যদি ইনফেকশন হয় প্রস্তেতত যদি এবসেস হয় বা কেতিয়াবা প্রস্তেতৰ বেলেগ বেলেগ প্রবলেমত আমি প্রস্তেত ডাঙৰ হোৱা দেখা পাও কিন্তু বিনাইন এনলার্জমেন্ট অফ প্রস্তেত জেনারেলি বয়খিয়াল মানুহৰতে দেখা যায় so uh, now uh, the next question is that uh, so when a person comes with benign enlargement of prostate uh, what are the uh, basic symptoms uh, mainly they present to it and uh, by looking at what symptoms can we directly say that uh, this is the case of benign enlargement of prostate okay so as we discussed before the term which we use is now uh, lower urinary tract symptoms 
it can be a voiding or storage the voiding symptoms can be hesitancy that you have some delay in passing the urine the sat to humkale na hoy all of deri ke hoy second is straining you have to strain while passing urine that is jor dibo lage pressure to it can be intermittency that urinary flow stops in between the sat to stop kori kori hoy it can be a sense of incomplete voiding uh that is when you come from the bathroom you still have the feeling that some amount of urine is still left it can be post void dribble that is when you come from the bathroom some small uh, some few drops of urine still leaks in your underwear and uh, apart from this there frequency urgency and nocturia frequency is when you have to go to bathroom again and again the sat to bari bari jabo lage ghon ghon ke jabo lage you can have urgency that is when you have the urge you have to go to the bathroom a uh, very strong urge that is the sap to rakhibo no are jaboi lage he can have nocturia nocturia is when you have to get up from the sleep to pass urine more than one times in night rati tupuni haibar pisot uthibo lage the sap to koribar karon these are the voiding and storage symptoms the majority of the reason is due to benign hypertrophy to prostate it as but we as discussed it can be due to a variety of reasons which include stone neurogenic reasons as well okay so uh, suppose a patient is suffering from benign enlargement of prostate for a long duration and if it is left untreated the uh, can the patient has have some other problems or other complications because of this benign pros, uh, enlargement of prostate yes definitely so uh, due to untreated uh, benign enlargement of prostate with obstructive symptom that is the bladder has to strain so much to empty it itself it has to work against resistance the first effect is it increases the bladder wall thickness second the pressure generated in bladder ultimately pops off for uh, to towards kidney and the patient has secondary uh, obstructive changes that is bilateral uh, swelling in kidney that is the hydrourethronephrosis which can ultimately lead to renal failure and chronic kidney diseases apart from that patient can have recurrent urinary tract infections because the urine is stored in the bladder for very long time patient can have hematuria related to prostate a vascular prostate and uh, as because patient is straining every time it can sometimes relate or uh, lead to rupture in the prostatic venous plexuses and leads to hematuria recurrent hematuria stored urine for long time in bladder can result in bladder stones okay so uh, i mean also some yes. few common and graver yeah yes uh yes. so ami alochona korilu je patient or complications jodi uh, bph ba enlar prostate dangor hole jodi ami treat no koru tetia pesabor rastat bohu dinor pora bada hoy ketia ba amar event kidney failure hobo pare aru ketia ba barombar pesabor infection hoy thakibo pare aru ketia ba event pesabor logot tezo jabo pare so my next question is that suppose uh, a patient come uh, has come with uh, the early symptoms of uh, benign enlargement of prostate so what are the treatment modalities that we can offer in the early uh, uh, benign prostatic enlargement and what are the uh, uh, at what stage the surgery will be required okay. so uh, patient coming with uh, lower urinary tract symptom we have to first of all create a prognostic model for the patient that what are the symptoms we have some symptom scoring uh, test which we can do in opd which we can have a idea about quality of life patient is leading second uh, what we generally uh, prescribe our patient is an ultrasonography of the abdomen which gives an idea about whether the patient has any secondary changes any swelling in the kidney what is the size of the prostate how is the bladder what is the post voice residue secondly we get a urophilometry test done which uh, gives us an idea about the flow of the urine and we get a prostate specific antigen if after proper counseling of the patient and we can get some routine blood test 
So if the patient doesn't have any complications of prostatic enlargement and have mild to moderate symptoms, we can offer them a medical therapy, which for avoiding uh, symptoms, we have alpha blockers and for storage symptoms, we have either anticholinergic or beta-3 agonists. But if patient has any complications of prostatic enlargement, like uh, recurrent infection, hematuria, secondary changes with bilateral obstructive neuropathy or uh, vesical stones, or patient have severe LUTS symptoms without any complication also, we can offer them surgery, which is minimally invasive now. So nowadays for small prostate, we have uh, QRP that is trans urethral resection of prostate. The operation is done purely through urethra. There is no external scar. It is a rarely requirement of any blood transfusion and patient can go home on the next day. For large prostate, we have lasers also by which we can operate even 100-200 gram prostates in one day and patient can have excellent quality of life and excellent avoiding pattern post-surgery. Okay. So, and uh, how will you diagnose uh, this benign enlargement of prostate? What are the diagnostic modalities available? Okay. So, first is the clinical examination only, uh, in which we do a focused neurological examination and a digital rectal examination. Through rectum, we can assess the overall prosthetic size whether it is grade 1, grade 2 or grade 3, uh, we have different scoring sets for that. We have ultrasonography through transabdominal or transrectal. If we have any suspicion of prostatic cancer, the modality of choice is MRI, which we do is multi-parametric. We take other parameters apart from the conventional T1 and T2. There is diffusion weighted imaging, there is spectrometry by which we can have a fairly good idea whether it's, uh, any malignant changes are there or not. These are the common investigations which are generally done to estimate uh, the prostate size and the nature of the enlargement, whether it's benign or uh, Okay. So, uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Barun. Today we have learned a lot about uh, uh, this benign enlargement of prostate. So, uh, in conclusion, we have learned that uh, whenever a person comes with benign enlargement of prostate, uh, he may have some voiding uh, or storage symptoms and it's necessary that uh, he goes for proper investigations and there are mainly treatment modalities mainly in the form of different medications available as well as in cases of advanced uh, en or uh, advanced enlargement of prostate there are certain surgeries available thank you so much uh, for coming to our show uh, thanks a lot Thank you, Partha, for inviting me. Thank you.